Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. A deadly conclusion early this morning. A man barricading himself inside that convenience store in Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joining us live with more on this. Nicole? Well, this all started as a barricade situation overnight. Now it's turned into a death investigation. Take a look. Still an active scene here. The barricade situation is over. The investigation into how this man died is, un is underway. You can see this is the back of the QT and uh, the doors that were breached by SWAT team members to enter the QT. Now it all started about 2 a.m. this morning. Officers spotted a man on the I-17 freeway. Police say they tried Tried to make contact with him. Then he ran from the freeway to this convenience store right off of I-17 and Cactus, this QT. Now, officers did confront him inside of the QT. They say he was holding a knife. And during that confrontation, the man then ran off, locked himself inside of a storage room here at the QT. The employees and customers that were inside the store at the time did get out safely. Uh, at some point, the man then started fires, a fire or several fires inside of the store, and that caused the sprinkler system to go off, which worked. It put out the fires. The SWAT team eventually, after hours of trying to negotiate with the man, they forced their way in at about 5.30 this morning. Police say when they entered that storage room, they found the man uh, unconscious with critical injuries, and he was pronounced dead at the scene. The barricade process sometimes can last a long time. We're not trying to force confrontations with, with an individual that's by himself and armed. There's no reason we have time on our hands, and that's um, time-wise, this, this was a, a pretty lengthy barricade, but not abnormal in any way. So police say it's unclear at this point what exactly caused the fatal injuries to the man. Uh, they're waiting for the medical examiner to determine his cause of death. The investigation, as you can see, still ongoing. And the inside of this QT has uh, heavy water damage because of the fire suppression system. So this. This store is going to be closed for a while. No employees, no customers, and no officers were hurt. Reporting live in North Phoenix, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.